I am all about talking about feminine power these days, <laughs> this week. Um, if you aren't in the workshop, Mother Redefined, you can still get in. Tonight's the last official, but there will be a few more things this week, and Sunday night there will be a um, Q&A coaching session, um, and then the replays will be up. So even if you're not live with me every day, there will always be a way for you to be in it. It's all about mothering, being a mom, but really who are you behind all that? Who are you beneath all of the roles that we have? So mom, wife, entrepreneur, coworker, business owner, employee, friend, sister, daughter, all of it. So many times we forget to know that we're a human doing the things that people say that we're doing as a role. And a lot of my a lot of my practice, a lot of my teaching is is actually this. Who are you behind all these things? Because you're only a mom, well, with the kids in the house for what, 18 to 25 years, somewhere around there. So I don't mean they're in your house for 25 years, I just mean the stretch of having kids. So just looking at what what does that mean? Like why would I want to sacrifice the things that I love or my purpose or my passion or all these things all the time for this, thinking that we need to be this because that's maybe how we were raised. That's maybe what society says. That's maybe how that is. But then we look at mothering and and we look at the energy of mothering. And if you were in day one, day two, I talked about the masculine feminine energies. It does not mean male female energies. It means the different styles that we show up as and so Many women, from what I see, are in masculine energy dominant being moms. Masculine energy dominant means um, kind of controlling the schedule, saying this is how it needs to be, um, delegating, decision making, hard lines, boundaries, rigidity, systems, processes, all these things that we need to keep the balls in the air, we need to keep the household going, we need to make sure the kids get here on time and all the stuff that moves us into masculine energy because feminine energy is um, intimate power. It's creation, it's flow, it's fun, love, compassion. It's going with the flow a bit more, it's breaking out of the mold, it's trailblazing a path, it's following that purpose, It's the like expansive things, the expansive energy that we all have, but eventually we we live in this box of very small energy and now we can't handle all of it. So when you hear me talk, which one feels like it's the most dominant? And if you know that you're dominant somewhere, then we need to really work on that other side. That's the feminine. You, for the most part, in all the hundreds, thousands, oh, tens of thousands of people that I've talked to and I see, that is the part that's lacking. And that is creating this incongruency and misidentity in us because we are females. We are meant to be inner power centers. We're meant to feel and to process emotion and, and to be that like ebb and flow a little bit more, not rigid. So... How do you bring more of that in your life? And how are you a mom that embodies a bit more of that instead of rigidity, instead of control? I mean, when the dishwasher needs to be loaded, just so. When the groceries need to be purchased, just so. When the meals need to be created at just the exact time for this. I'm not saying to be willy-nilly and have it be a total shit show, but there's a happy medium Because what happens when we're tight in our systems and we're organized and all the things that people commend us for, right? We have no room for flexibility. We have no room for creativity. We have no room for flow in like moving with it a little bit and seeing how that can change. And I think there's so much power in that. So if you aren't in that workshop, that's what we're talking about. If if this is what you got and you're like, oh my gosh, (laughs) I'm going to work on this. Awesome. That's what I want this to be is really... How can we talk about the things that I'm seeing every day? How can I bring that to you more than I have? And that is my responsibility. That's what I want 
want to create a community of more uh, connected, enlightened females. And if you're not a mom yet, or you don't plan to be, this is everywhere. So I just say mother because of my workshop that I'm doing, Mother Redefined. So it's really all of us all the time. Okay. I love you guys. Have a great Wednesday. Bye.